All right, I've been messing with the flame control um, for fully responsive for Prof EOS 4, and I've created what I'm calling a real flame effect. Um, so you'll see why in a second. Um, but this uses this version uses blade angle to control not only the speed of the blade but also the size of the flame. Um, so so this is it's got a orange to red mix to make it look more like real fire. Um, and when this blade is pointing straight up, you'll get the fastest speed of the flame. Then, as you turn this blade down, the fire will slow. But as you get below horizontal, it will also start to shrink. Until you're pointing straight down, you actually get your smallest flame and your slowest moving. Um, so this one, and there'll be multiple colors in the library, uh, but this one's called Real Flame because it has the real fire effect. But it responds in real time to the angle of the blade, so every little subtle change in the angle will change the size and speed of the fire. Until you get it pointing straight back up. So just a cool effect, but you'll notice the sections of color also adjust as that flame changes. And then this has some of the effects um, already in it, so it'll have a blast, it'll have a clash, and they're all responsive, so depending on the angle of the blade, and then what happens with the smaller blade is they actually adjust as well, so they'll stay within the area of the flame. Um, you get melt, of course, which is also responsive. So that'll heat up or cool down based on turning the blade. And then you get the localized lockup. And that lockup section will move based on the angle of your blade. And that's got transitions on it. Um, so this one is the blade angle, and again, this color mix is called Real Flame on the Style Library. Um, but uh, it's going to be brand new for Prophy OS 4, so just something new coming.